Hey folks, it's Sam. Mars-Jupiter exact conjunction is happening now, as you see. I have the hair in the top knot, in the Shiva knot, um, and it's hot here in San Diego, but we're hanging in there. And this Mars-Jupiter in Taurus, the exact conjunction, shows a, you know, shows a lot of opportunity and exact and powerful energy for fighting for your principles, if you have them, honestly. Um, what are you fighting for? What are you really courageously inspired by? And hopefully they are things that are of enduring value. For example, you know, um, you know, because uh, Jupiter is our principles and it's in the sign of Taurus and he has been for a while and that, you know, Taurus is the sign of values and those things that we're really, you know, that are solid core principles in our life. So this is definitely a big thing right now with Mars and Jupiter in Taurus. It affects all of us a little differently. Um, for Aries people, it affects literally your money, your family. For Taurus, it affects your personal identity, perhaps your health, your boundaries with Gemini it's in your 12th house so it's a little more confusing but it's really trying to support your state of surrender your capacity to let go courageously for cancer people it's in your 11th house which is the public large groups of people courageously exploring and teaching and connecting for Leo people it's in your 10th house which is your your relationship with power career the things you're willing to sacrifice for and work hard for. For Virgo, it's your ninth house, is which has to do with your teachings, gurus, things that inspire you. Again, Mars, Jupiter in alignment to fight for those things. For Libra, this is your eighth house, which is related to change, transformation, letting go of those things that you can't control and exploring the deeper vulnerabilities in life. For Scorpio people, it's your relationships, your relationships with other people, really fighting for the types of connections that you want and really aligning with your higher principles in the midst of that. Sagittarius, this is sixth house energy, which has to do with service, elevated, um, you know, and, and these elevated principles of service, not just fighting with others to try to win your, you know, your, your um, individual perspective. For Capricorn, it's fifth house, which has to do with creativity. It could be children, but it's also just connecting with your heart's desire, fighting and, you know, for what you want to create and what inspires you. Aquarius, this is fourth house, which has to do with feelings, emotions. It could even be your home and your family. And Pisces, this is third house, which is inspired and aligned and courageously fighting for things that you're interested in, right? And that could be challenging your own dogmas and things like that. So this is a quick overview of that Mars-Jupiter exact conjunction in Taurus happening on August 13, 14, 15. They're right within a degree of each other.